This PowerPoint will explain how the Jeffrey Johnson Stand Up for All Students Act is applied to the School District of St. Lucie County's bullying and harassment policies. The St. Lucie County School District's bullying and harassment policies are outlined in Policy 3.43. It is the policy of the St. Lucie County School District that all of its students and school employees have an educational setting that is safe, secure, and free from harassment and bullying of any kind. Conduct that constitutes bullying and harassment, as defined in this policy, is prohibited. Definition of Bullying Bullying is defined as systematically and chronically inflicting physical hurt or psychological distress on one or more students or employees. This definition includes unwanted and repeated written or oral statements or physical behavior, including any threatening, insulting, or dehumanizing gesture by an adult or student that is severe or pervasive enough to create an intimidating, hostile or offensive educational environment, cause discomfort or humiliation, or unreasonably interferes with the individual's school performance or participation. Bullying may involve, but is not limited to, teasing, social exclusion, threat, intimidation, stalking, physical violence, theft, harassment based on protected characteristics such as sex, religion, race and ethnicity or disability, public humiliation, and destruction of property. Definition of harassment. Harassment is defined as any threatening, insulting, or dehumanizing gesture, use of data or computer software, or written or oral statement or physical conduct, including a single act is sufficiently severe, directed against a student or school employee that places a student or school employee in reasonable fear of harm to his or her person or damage to his or her property, has the effect of substantially interfering with the student's educational performance, opportunities, or benefits, or has the effect of substantially disrupting the orderly operation of a school. Cyberstalking. Cyberstalking, as defined in Florida statute, is to engage in a course of conduct to communicate or to cause to be communicated words, images, or language by or through the use of electronic mail or electronic communication directed at a specific person causing substantial emotional distress to that person and serving no legitimate purpose. How is bullying reported? In St. Lucie County Schools, bullying is reported through the use of the Bullying Harassment Complaint Form that is available through school offices, classroom teachers, and the School District of St. Lucie County website, which is www.stlucie.k12 .fl.us. Anonymous reports may also be made in the bullying reporting box at school sites. Oral reports may also be taken. The person taking the oral report must transfer information to the bullying and harassment complaint form. How is bullying investigated? The principal or designee will assign personnel who is trained in investigative procedures to conduct an investigation. The investigation must be initiated and concluded within 10 school days of reporting. Parents of all students involved, the alleged perpetrator and alleged victim, must be informed on the same day an investigation of the incident has been initiated. Notification must be made by phone, and in writing. School-wide interventions. School-wide improvement in bullying results from a comprehensive program that addresses the school climate with preventative activities. The school must promptly and effectively intervene when an incident occurs. Students in St. Lucie County Schools receive positive behavior support interventions direct teaching of the bully prevention and positive behavior support curriculum, 
and additional extension activities to promote school-wide pro-social behaviors. Research indicates that simply sanctioning the bully is not sufficient to reduce the incidence of bullying and harassment in schools. The St. Lucie County School District follows best practice standards to implement a plan of intervention which could include counseling and or social skills training for individual students that exhibit bully behavior. Training and instruction on the bullying policy. The law requires a procedure for providing instruction on identifying, preventing, and responding to bullying or harassment for students, parents, school administrators, counseling staff, and school volunteers. School-based personnel shall be given instruction at a minimum of one time per year based on the district's policy and procedures against bullying and harassment. Parents will receive ongoing training and instruction about bullying through evening events, assemblies, and videos. Information may be shared through newsletters and reviewed at open houses, PTO meetings, and SAC meetings. Student training is critical to reducing the incidence of bullying in a school. The district has adopted bully prevention and positive behavior support as the curriculum to be delivered at the school level. School-wide training can be accomplished through the use of videos, outside agencies and speakers, and web-based information such as Stop Bullying Now and the Bullying Prevention website on the Florida Department of Education webpage. Prevention activities. Based on circumstances, prevention steps may include re-emphasizing instruction and training on identifying, preventing, and responding to bullying and harassment through additional classroom presentations, small group sessions, and or individual behavioral interventions, use of positive reinforcement of good conduct, and appropriate consequences for the perpetrator. If you have questions regarding the Jeffrey Johnson Stand Up for All Students Act or the St. Lucie County School District's Bullying and Harassment Policy, please contact Barbara Castine in Student Services at 772-429-4510.